Welcome to my channel, Ren Country Sticks. It's the first uh, video we've done for quite a few years and what we'd like to do is take you through the stages of making um, a shepherd's crook in um, a plywood material. This is a beech plywood. Um, it's good quality plywood. Uh, you can have uh, mahogany ply and birch ply. You can get furniture quality ply, toy making firm quality ply. So it's not the, the sort of uh, building material that uh, most people uh, think of when they hear the word plywood. But I like to call it a laminate because um, I think I'm a bit posh. <laughs> not really. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is uh, take you through the process of making a shepherd's crook um, very much like this. We've got a hazel shank and we've got a, a border collie carved on the nose um, which is uh, carved in buffalo horn and then set into a deep notch and epoxied in. So the first thing we want to do is um, get our bits and pieces and obviously we want a, a nice hazel stick. This is the traditional material for making shepherd's crooks. Uh, it's strong and it's light and this is what um, the sheepdog men like. This one isn't particularly uh, straight, you, you, you may be able to see uh, it's uh, pretty bent in places but um, we'll take you through the straightening process and see how straight we can get that. The other thing we want now is um, a plywood plank. This is birch plywood so you can buy this in probably uh, 25 mil uh, thicknesses. Let's see what this is. Oh, well, this is uh, inch and a quarter. So to get your shape, you want a nice profile, and it's up to you what shapes you use. Um, if you go onto the internet and you get pictures of uh, shepherd's crooks and you find a shape you like, you can copy that. And today with uh, the printers that we have where we can um, enlarge and reduce um, the size of a print, you can copy the shape of a, a crook to the, to the size you want. So you want a, a, a profile and then pop that onto your block. So the next thing is you really need to band saw that or cut it by hand and this is just a little profile which will have a dog on it and a ram's head just there. So the sort of thing you're going to end up with is something like this. Now again this is a, a beach ply. So now you're not, um, you're not restricted to just using plywood, I mean you can make a laminate up uh, this has got a, um, a centre portion made out of plywood and that gives the hardwood on the outer edges, on the outer sides, some strength. Uh, and this one is, uh, this is oak. So we've got a sandwich of oak and ply. And then on this one we've got a centre uh, sandwich of um, ash and we've got elm. And a, a, another one that we, we do is an outer edge of ash and purple heartwood. Now this is very very striking. Once you've made this up and you've cut it and you've shaped and polished it up it makes a very striking stick. Uh, the only thing with uh, purple heartwood is it does like to move around a bit. So if you put this on the outside you may get a few shakes in it or a few cracks. The other thing you're going to want is Possibly a piece of buffalo horn, scrap buffalo horn, to um, carve your border collie out of. You can use a hardwood, but if these sticks take a knock, then probably your dog is going to survive a lot longer if it's made out of a good strong material like buffalo rather than um, a piece of hardwood. So, 